Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and today we're going to review Soho CRM, the CRM application that allows you to manage the relationship with your customers, keep up with your sales process, save time with automations, and more. Let's start. The first thing we're going to check out is the user interface and if it is easy to use. When you log in into Soho CRM, you can see that it looks modern and clean, but there are other CRMs out there that are more polished than this one. Up top, you can find a navigation bar where you can access your different modules as well as quick action menus on the top right corner. Here, you can search for anything you want as well as checking notifications, checking the calendar, accessing the settings and more. And forgot to mention that this is the home screen where you can navigate to the other modules with the top bar. Inside each module, you will see a list of records and on the left side, you can access the filters, which are really helpful when you want to find specific records that have something in common. It is really easy to create a new record. Just click on the button and complete all the fields. All these fields are customizable, but we're going to go over that later in the video. Click on any record to open it and you will see the record information in the center and on the left side, some navigation buttons. To make changes, you can click on any field and change it, or you can click on the edit button on the top right corner and edit multiple fields at the same time. You also have a timeline view that shows changes or updates made to this record in a timely manner. Overall, navigating, searching, creating and modifying records and seeing notifications is straightforward. Soho CRM is an advanced CRM software so some of the top features are oriented to companies that have a dedicated personnel that can set them up. But if you can spend the time to do it, some of them are really cool and will save you a lot of time in the long run. I will mention the top features that I use the most, but we will also talk about customization in a minute, which is one of the top features of Soho CRM. Web forms are a great tool that can transfer information from your website to any of the modules that you have. For example, you can create a form and place it in your website's contact page and every time someone completes the form, a new lead will be added to Soho CRM. Another feature is blueprints. You can map a process, for example, how to process your deals, and then the users have to follow the same process for all the deals. This shows at the top of the screen and guides them through what actions should be taken and at what time. The next one is workflows. You can create rules and condition that will trigger actions directly inside the CRM. For example, you can create tasks or send emails based on specific rules. This is very customizable and easy to set up. Signals is another feature that I really like. This is your notification center and gives you a ton of information on what's going on with the records that you own or follow. Finally, we're going to mention Sandbox. This is a feature that allows you to clone your CRM account so you can use the clone to test features or make changes and you can deploy the changes to your real account after you're sure everything works. This is really helpful when you need to make changes, but there are other users using the CRM at the same time and making changes live could mess up with what they're doing. Now let's talk about customization. Like I said, this CRM is very customizable. You can add fields to your layouts as well as adding sections and subforms. You can also modify the details view of your modules so you change the way the record shows information. You can also have multiple layouts and assign them to different roles and profiles. So the users that are admin have more privileges than the ones that have a standard profile. Another really cool customization feature is that you can create your own custom modules and link them to the default modules. You can also create reports and perform analytics on custom modules. Templates are a great way to reuse information that you constantly send to your contacts. You can customize email templates using the editor, like a word processor, or you can use any HTML code. Then you can use these templates in a workflow or send them manually. Some other things that you can customize are pipelines for your deals module. You can also create wizards to break down complex layouts in more manageable screen by screen forms. You can manage translations if you work with people that speak different languages. You can create blueprints that streamline processes in your organization and more. I also wanted to mention that you can create custom functions that could do things that don't come out of the box. Okay, now let's talk about automations. There are a lot of simple tasks that consume time on a day-to-day -day basis, so automating them is really important. Soho CRM has workflows that allow you to automate a lot of these tasks. For example, you can send email notifications to your customers as well as your coworkers when a deal has been marked as one. You can also create tasks and assign them to coworkers, and you can invoke webhooks that can trigger actions in other applications outside Soho CRM. 
Also, you can notify coworkers via Zoho Click, the Zoho Chat app, and you can also trigger functions that you created. Another automation that you can use is assignment rules that allow you to set up rules to assign records to different users based on specific criteria that you can select. Like if a lead source is Google Ads, assign it to one employee, but if it is Facebook, assign it to a different employee. A good CRM has to be able to integrate with other apps that perform different tasks that the CRM can accomplish, like a financial software or a project management software. Soho CRM has a marketplace where you can find all the integrations available, as well as apps made for Soho CRM. The most common integrations are between Soho products, like Soho Books and Soho Projects. They work really well if you're planning to use other Soho products. But there are also other integrations that work really well, like Google's or Microsoft Office Suite, so you can sync your contacts and calendar events. It also integrates with Ring Central, Panadoc, Stripe, and Zapier. Zapier allows Soho CRM to work with a lot of other apps that don't have a native integration yet. You can check out my Zapier videos if you're interested in learning how it works. One of the downsides of Soho CRM is that it doesn't have a native QuickBooks Online integration. There are some third-party developers that made an integration, but you have to pay extra for that. If you're the admin, Soho CRM is really easy to use, at least on the basic things like adding users, customizing modules, layouts, templates, blueprints, and more. But if you really want to use all the customization power of Soho CRM, you're going to have to spend some time learning how to do the more advanced stuff. The support team is good, but not great. They typically respond back in 24 hours, but a lot of times there is a lot of back and forward until the issue has been resolved. The last thing I want to go over is price. Soho CRM is one of the less expensive CRMs out there, starting at $18 per user per month. But the version I would go for is the professional one that is $30 per user per month. To start, you can try it for free and see if it could be a good fit for you. They also have a free CRM version, but it's very, very limited. I recommend Soho CRM to anyone that is looking for a new CRM more advanced than the CRM they're already using. Meaning that if your CRM doesn't do everything you want to do, you should switch to Zoho. But if you're new to the CRM world and you don't want to spend too much time customizing it, you can go for a simpler CRM and in a few years switch to this one. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use Soho CRM if you never used a CRM before, but if you don't spend the time customizing it, you will be missing a lot of really good features. Some really good alternatives to Soho CRM are HubSpot, ActiveCampaign, and Pipedrive. They are easier to set up and have some of the advanced feature that Soho has. You can also try Begin. It is another CRM made by Zoho, but oriented to small businesses. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a CRM? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know down below as well. And remember to check out the other videos that I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.